How's it going everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is how to buy the best drumsticks for you. If you're new to drumming or maybe a parent wanting to buy some new drumsticks for the young player in your home, how do you sort through all the different kinds of sticks that are on the market to find the perfect pair? In this video, I'm gonna take you through the different sizes and shapes and woods and even non-woods if that's a word, to hopefully give you a better idea of what to try when you're ready to get some sticks. Now, when I say there's a lot of drumsticks in the world, I'm not kidding. Here at Sweetwater alone, we sell around 450 different pairs of drumsticks. That doesn't include brushes or mallets or blast sticks or nylon dowels or any of that stuff. Now, a lot of those sticks are similar in size and shape, but each brand has their own way of doing things, and it can feel slightly different from brand to brand. But don't let that scare you. Once you learn the similarities of drumsticks, you can find the ones that are right for you. It just takes a little bit of time and some trial and error if you're starting from scratch. Let's first talk about the most typical sizes of drumsticks and what the numbers and letters mean. You often see the number seven, five, and two. There are other numbers that are used like six and eight, but we'll get to those later. The most common ones are seven, five, and two. The number represents the diameter of the stick, and it can be a little bit confusing because you would think that the smaller the number, the smaller the stick, but it's really the other way around. Seven is the thinnest diameter, and five is in the middle, and two is the thickest. You'll also see letters on the sticks. The two most typical letters are A and B. The letters were originally intended to tell the player what type of music the sticks could be used for. A was typically for orchestral music, and B was for louder music like big band. There was also the letter S that was on some sticks, and I don't see that around anymore. That was typically for drum corps and marching players. This system of numbers and letters was created way back in the early 20th century. And though it's morphed and changed over time, the core numbers and letters are still with us today. With all that being said, the most typical drumsticks from all the different manufacturers are 7A, 5A, 5B, and 2B. Now let's quickly talk about wood. By far the most used wood in drumsticks is hickory. It's a dense wood that's really durable, and it has a really nice feel when you're hitting the drums. And even though it's dense, it gives a little bit when you hit the drums and cymbals hard, which is a really good thing, especially on your wrists and hands and forearms. The second kind of wood that's used most often is maple. It's much lighter feeling and can give you a little bit of a brighter sound. The third kind of wood used to make drumsticks is oak. It's the least common used wood, but some people love it because of the hard feel. There are sticks that aren't made from wood, and they come from the company ahead. I have them right here in front of me. The sticks have an aluminum tube core and a polyurethane shaft that covers that core and plastic tips. They come in all the typical sizes and are built for rock and roll drumming. They do last a long time and when the polyurethane shaft wears out, you just replace it. You can also change out the tips of the sticks for different sounds on your cymbals if you want. They do have a bit of a different feel from wood, but a lot of drummers really love these sticks and some of the biggest drummers in the world use them. Lars Ulrich, Mick Fleetwood, and Tommy Lee, just to name a few. Now the next thing to look at is the tip of the stick. It's the tip of the stick that really changes the cymbal sound, especially the ride cymbal. The acorn tip, probably being the most popular, will give you a nice clean sound on your ride cymbal. There's also a round tip, which will give you a little more of a ping to your ride cymbal, and there's the barrel tip, which is probably the thickest sound of the three. Now those aren't the only tips that you can get on the ends of drumsticks, especially when it comes to signature models. I'll show you those in just a second. If you want a really bright and pingy ride cymbal sound, go for a plastic tip. Most of the time you'll find plastic tips in the acorn shape, but you can find drumsticks with round plastic tips as well. Now that we've talked through the kinds of woods and sizes and tips that you can get from drumsticks, let's talk about how to actually pick out the best pair for you. If you're not a beginner, but you're still fairly new to drumming, have a think about what kind of music you wanna play. If you wanna play jazz and swing music that's not too loud, then the 7A might be a great choice. They're light and thin and a great choice when you need to have a great swinging ride cymbal sound. If you wanna play a little bit of everything, some jazz, some funk, some soul music, and some rock and roll, then the 5A drumstick could be the right choice for you. They're light enough for jazz and thick enough for rock, putting them right in the middle for so many things. The next step up for more driving and aggressive music would be the 5B, being a bit thicker than the 5A. The 5B will give you enough power to play louder music. The next step up from there, if you wanna be a heavy hitter, would be a 2B. They're big and thick and getting up there into the world of marching drumsticks. And finally, if you're an absolute beginner, I would suggest a typical 5A wood tip drumstick. It's the jack of all trades drumstick and you can start from there and once your technique becomes a little more refined, you can start to branch out and try other sticks to find the exact size and feel 
that you'll probably play forever. And that could be the 5A you started out with. Okay, we've talked about all the technical stuff. Now let's check out the sticks I have here in front of me. It's just a small sampling of everything we have here at Sweetwater, but I have sticks from Minel, Promark, Vic Firth, Vader, Innovative Percussion, Ahead, Zildjian, and uh, some more of the same brands, but in the signature lines over here. Like I said earlier, every brand has a 5A. Here's Innovative Percussion's 5A. A nice acorn tip, and it feels nice and balanced. If you have a 5A and a 5B, and the 5B is too thick, but the 5A is a little bit uh, too thin for you, you can try sticks like the 5AB. Every brand usually has a stick that's in between. It might be called a 5AB or sometimes a 55A. That means the diameter is right in between a 5A and a 5B. I did mention that there's other numbers like eight and six and that kind of thing. I have a pair of hybrid 8As from Minel right here, a nice small barrel tip. 8A to me feels a little like a 5A. It's right in that world. It's a little bit thinner. It's not thick like a 5B, but similar to a 5A feel. And a lot of players like the 8As because of the barrel tips. Like I mentioned earlier, all the brands have the same sort of typical sizes. So I picked the 5B Rock from Ahead and a 5B from Vic Firth. The weight of the Ahead stick, being that it's an aluminum stick with the shaft on it, the throw is a little bit different, which means there's a little more push towards the front of the stick, the weight towards the front of the stick. That's a really good thing if you want rebound and just a nice hard feel when you're hitting rim shots and you're hitting your cymbals. The 5B from Fick Firth, nice and balanced. It doesn't have as much weight towards the front of the stick, but it still feels beefy in the hand like a 5B should. The main thing you want to look out for, no matter what size of stick you're going for, 7A, 5A, 2B, or whatever, is the balance and the feel in your hand. You want the stick to do a lot of the work for you, especially when your technique becomes better. One stroke of the hand could mean two or three hits of the drumstick. That all comes from good technique, but the balance of the stick really helps. So you may like a stick that has a more weight towards the front of the stick. You might like more weight towards the butt of the stick. The taper. The taper is the part of the stick that goes down and gets smaller as you get to the tip. Some sticks have a longer taper, some are shorter. The shorter taper means more thickness, more weight towards the front. The longer the taper, more thin and a lighter feel towards the front of the stick. Both of these sticks have the typical 2B feel in the hand, a nice thick drum stick. But like I mentioned earlier, the maple stick is much lighter feeling. So you could have a big giant stick in your hand, but it'll have the weight of a smaller stick like a 5B or even a 5A, even though you're playing a big beefy 2B. So that really just comes down to feel. You have to try out the sticks to see what you like best. And finally, let's talk about signature drumsticks. That's when an artist works with a company directly to get into the weeds and design a drumstick from the ground up. Say they're a typical 5A player. Well, they'll choose maybe the weight in a different way than a typical 5A. Maybe add a little bit of weight towards the front or a little bit towards the back. Maybe make the taper just a little bit different. Have the tip of the stick completely unique. Let me show you a few I have over here. Here's a great representation of a tip on a stick that's totally unique. This is the Near Z signature stick from Innovative Percussion. The taper goes all the way to the end and there's almost no tip. It's almost all one thing. Near loves this design because it gives him a great cymbal sound, but also feels really good when you're digging into the toms and your snare drum. Here's a pair of Matt Halpern signature sticks from Promark. These are big, beefy drumsticks, and you can see that the taper in the shoulder is really thick all the way to the very end, and you have a really big, round tip. If you like playing rock and roll and you want a big, beefy sound, this could be a good choice. Here's the Buddy Rich signature sticks from Vic Firth. In these sticks, the shoulder goes all the way up into the tip. The tip is not cut out separate from the rest of the stick. To me, the feel and the weight of the stick is around a 5A, but you get this totally unique tip, which gives you a unique cymbal sound. What's cool about signature drumsticks, especially if you're a big fan of the player of that particular stick, is that you know that player got into the weeds with the company and designed the stick with everything thought of. The weight, the tip, the feel, the throw, the rebound, all of those things. When you pick up those sticks yourself, it'll inspire you to play more and to become a better drummer. And there you go, drumsticks. There's a lot out there to choose from, but once you know the basics, you can start there and slowly try new things as you go to find yourself that perfect pair. I'm Nick DiVirgilio, thanks so much for watching.